Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, once again, I want to say thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I know it's been about a month now and I keep saying the same thing over and over, but I'm just so, so, so happy and grateful. Today is going to be another beloved hair video. I see that my hair videos do really well on this channel, so why not keep it up? For today's hair, I'm going to try a nowadays people are calling it the skunk hair trend it's like it's gonna be a new hair trend similar to the e-girl hair trend but my main inspiration for this hair is jibu from card and christina aguilera because they wore it the best and i'm mainly paying attention to them when trying to do this type of hair taking this wig i got from amazon um i will leave it in the description box below if anybody wanted to try this wig out. So far, it seems to be a pretty good wig. I already toned the hair. You can kind of see the lavender in it. All right, I don't really have anything left to say for the introduction except for subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And other than that, let's just jump into the video. What I'm gonna be using today is this box hair dye by L'Oreal. This is the same hair dye I used in my last hair video when I did the um, underlayer, underlayer trend on my real hair. Another thing you're gonna need are aluminum foil. And another thing you're gonna need is kind of a small brush like this, kind of a precision brush. I'm gonna be probably using my paint brush, especially this one right here. But something similar to these two you wanna use because of how tiny and precise they are. And next, I'm gonna be using this um, mixing bowl. The box hair dye do offer this um, bottle right here. However, after using this bottle, I noticed that it's kind of messy. Really don't want this to be super messy. I'm not a professional, obviously, but I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure the hair straight look as good as possible when in total I think I'm gonna have about six to eight black hair streaks all right but that's the plan um uh, I'm not gonna really be talking or explaining because I'm not a professional so don't expect it to be too detailed I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the best let me go ahead and start cuz I'm tired of looking like Queen Latifah from Set It Off. I want to look pretty for once, so here goes nothing. I have to blow dry it out. By the way, I didn't mention it in the beginning, but the purple shampoo I used like the day before today is the Not Your Mother Purple Shampoo Treatment. Just for everybody to know, I know the Shimmer Lights is like a YouTube favorite when it comes to toning um, blonde hair, but I decided to try something different. And honestly, I think I like the Not Your Mother shampoo a lot better than the Shimmer Light. Now, I'm just going to 
blow dry the hair so it won't be super damp when I put it on. I'm gonna take my favorite Chi Keratin Thermal Active Smoothing Treatment. I'm just going to put this all over the hair and then I'm going to use my favorite Revlon blow dryer to blow it out. Anytime I blow dry my wigs, I don't blow dry it to where it's like super, super dry. I only do it enough to where it's not uncomfortable for me to put on my head because I don't really like putting on a wet wig or a very, very damp wig. Um, By the way, this is my first time purchasing a Sis 13 blonde wig from an AliExpress company. This is my first time purchasing the Sis 13 wig in general, so I can't really compare it to other Sis 13 wigs. You can see the tracks right here. I know normally with AliExpress hair, when the hair is like really wet, even with the natural black hair, you can see the wells, but once it dries, you can't see anymore because when your hair is wet, it's a lot thinner than what it actually is. So I'm hoping once it's completely dry, you can't see that because that's embarrassing, let's be honest. Also, the ends are there a little bit, they're a little bit brittle. Just a tiny bit brittle, you know, they might break just a little bit. But other than that, I'm still very impressed with it. Also, if you do plan on getting this wig, let me go ahead and give you a heads up that this is what they consider a T-part wig, as you can see the lace. If you don't know what that means, a T-part wig is basically, you can only do a middle part. So if you're one of those girls who like to be versatile with your lace fronts or you like a side part more than you like a middle part, um, don't get this wig because you can only do a middle part. You was all fine. I'll be all in. Okay y'all, so what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? See, I'm kind of digging this like wet, wavy type of look. It's really cute with this hair color, like I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. I really do like it. It's going to look so pretty when I like straighten it, make it foam straight, like sleek down straight. It's going to look so, 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 so pretty. <laughs> Okay guys, it's the next day. I straightened out my hair and this is what it's looking like. Overall, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with this. Also, the lace on this wig is super light. Even my foundation couldn't darken it up enough. Um, it doesn't look bad on camera, but it's still kind of bothersome for me. I was thinking about taking um, the spray tan bottles and just tinting the lace because the foundation wasn't doing it for me. I feel like that one character from Monster High, Dracula's daughter, I feel like her. I think this looks absolutely amazing. If you do do this, I definitely recommend using a mannequin head. I feel like that would made it so much easier. Honestly, I have to get myself a mannequin head. Also, if you want the hair streaks to be like super, super black, like jet black, I wouldn't recommend using the box dye I use. The only reason why I use it because it's what I had left from the last time I dyed my hair and I didn't want to spend more money. It's not a true black. It's going to look more like a natural black. I'm pretty impressed. I'm super happy I decided to try out this hair trend because i really really do like it i hope you guys like it i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you guys subscribe follow me on instagram and be on the lookout for more videos to come and after that i hope you guys have a good day and i hope to see you in my next video